Hello. Today we will see engineering fundamentals from the appendix B, page number B-2 to B-6 from the manual detailing for steel construction by Gondara Tayale. Content of the video is introduction, elastic curve of the simply supported beam, fixed beam, cantilever beam, rigid frames, gabel frames and summary in the end. So there are various types of supports like pin support, roller support, fixed support and simple support. I have made a dedicated video to supports and the link for that video is provided in the description box below for better understanding of how the reactions and the deflection please watch that video so we will start today's video this is the simply supported beam in this beam one end is pin support and other end is a roller support if both of the ends are roller then it will be an unstable structure it will just roll away with the application of the lateral force so this is a simple support one end is pin and other end is a roller support and the load is applied at the center then one end is a pin support so pin support allows member to rotate but it does not allow any translation that is no x translation and no y translation and other end is a roller support roller support allows member to rotate but it does not allow y translation but as this roller allows x translation Therefore, for this roller support, a vertical load is applied at the center and the deflected shape will be like this, shown in the green color. So, this is the simply supported beam. And we will apply a load at its center. So, see the deflected shape of the beam. It will deflect downwards. So, this is a frame beam connection. It is also called simple connection as this connection allows to rotate. Fixed beam. In the fixed beam, both ends of the beam are fixed supported. And the load is applied at its center. So fixed support. Fixed support does not allow to rotate. It does not allow X translation, no Y translation, no rotation. It is fixed or restrained support. So fixed support, how will it deflect? We have applied a point load at its center. The deflected shape will be like this. Because of the fixity of the support, the beam will not deflect at supports. So this is the example. I have created a fixed support and tightly held the ends of the beams and applied a point load at its center. So observe the deflected shape of the beam. It is fixed at the ends, but downward deflection 
at center. This is the example of fixed support. It is fully restrained support. So here it is restrained from all the sides. Here also it is bolted. From this top side there is no margin. It is also bolted. From here also it is bolted from the downside. And, and there is a fillet weld on this side. So it is completely restrained. It does not allow the connection to rotate. So it is a fixed or fully restrained connection. Now cantilever beam. In the cantilever beam, one end is a fixed support and other end is a free. It does not have any kind of support. And we have applied the load at the free end. So you know the fixed end does not allow X translation, no Y translation and no rotation. But free end allow all of these. It allows to rotate, it allows X translation, it allows Y translation, everything. So the deflected shape of the beam will be like this. Due to fixity, at fixed end, the beam will not deflect. But at the free end, beam will deflect downwards. So the deflected shape is shown in green color. Now we will see it practically. I have prepared a fixed support at one end and this metal scale is kept free at other end. Now we will apply a load on the free end. This is a cantilever beam. For more fixity I have kept two or three things on the top. Now we will try to apply the load and it slips. So we will try to keep the load little away from the fixed stain. Yes. Now observe the deflected shape of the beam. It is shown exactly like the green color dotted. Again, no load straight and when the load is applied, see the deflected shape. Observe at fixed end and at free end. The one example of cantilever beam. In this, three supports are there. One support is pin support. There is roller support. And this third is a free support. The load is applied at the free end. So the deflected shape of the beam will be like this. Because pin is a hinge, it will not allow any X or Y translation. It will only allow rotation. And roller support will allow X translation but no Y translation. So the beam will deflect upwards and at the free end it will deflect downwards. This is the example of cantilever beam. In the summary, for pin base portal frame, the deflected shape will be like this. This member, vertical member, will deflect like this. 
this member will deflect like this and the length of the member will be same it will not change and the angle between the members will be also same it will be 90 degrees so here at the 90 degree So here angle is 90 degree and length of the member is also same as it has moved this much distance here. And for rigid base portal frame the deflected shape will be like this due to fixity it will be straight here and the length of this member will be same and angle between the members will be also 90 degree so the deflection shape will be like this this is 90 degree this is 90 degree and the same deflection in base gable frame these are the pin ends and load is applied from here the deflected shape will be like this This is the pin end and this member will So angle here and here and here and here it is same the angle is maintained the angle between the elements is also maintained this angle is also maintained and this angle is also maintained thank you so much to you all for being with me throughout this video Happy learning. We will meet in the next video. Bye bye. This is the AISC committee who prepared the manual detailing for steel construction. I am grateful to them. Thank you so much. If you find this video useful, then please share. It will help others. And subscribe to get notified about the new videos.